Exploration of Human Intelligence, Thurstone's Multiple Factor Theory Human intelligence is an intricate and multifaceted phenomenon that has intrigued psychologists and researchers for generations. The quest to understand intelligence has led to the development of various theories, each offering a unique perspective on what it means to be intelligent. Among these theories, Thurstone's multiple factor theory stands out as a pivotal contribution that challenged the prevailing views of its time and continues to influence the study of intelligence today. In this comprehensive video, we will delve into the core principles of Thurstone's theory, explore its historical context, discuss the concept of primary mental abilities, and analyze its relevance in contemporary psychology. The Emergence of Thurstone's Theory The early 20th century witnessed a heated debate in the field of psychology regarding the nature of human intelligence. At the forefront of this debate were two prominent theorists, Charles Spearman and Louis Leon Thurstone each proposing their own theories to explain intelligence. Charles Spearman's G-Factor theory, introduced in the early 1900 seconds, posited that intelligence could be boiled down to a single, overarching factor called the general intelligence or G-Factor. According to Spearman, this G-Factor was responsible for a person's overall cognitive ability, and any specific mental abilities were influenced by this overarching factor. In contrast, Louis Leon Thurstone, a contemporary of Spearman, challenged this unidimensional view of intelligence. Thurstone believed that intelligence was not a single entity but a complex interplay of distinct mental abilities. He set out to identify and define these specific abilities, which he referred to as primary mental abilities. Primary mental abilities, the heart of Thurstone's theory. Thurstone's multiple factor theory was built on the concept of primary mental abilities, which he proposed as independent and distinct dimensions of human intelligence. These abilities were identified through extensive statistical analysis of intelligence test results, and Thurstone arrived at the conclusion that intelligence could be described by seven primary mental abilities. 1. Verbal comprehension. This ability relates to a person's capacity to understand, analyze, and interpret written or spoken language. Individuals with strong verbal comprehension excel in reading comprehension, vocabulary understanding, and grasping subtle verbal nuances. 2. Word fluency. Word fluency is the capacity to generate a large number of words within a specific category or based on certain criteria. For example, individuals with high word fluency can quickly produce words related to a particular topic or theme demonstrating linguistic dexterity. 3. Number facility. Number facility encompasses mathematical and quantitative aptitude. It refers to the ability to manipulate numerical information quickly and accurately, solving mathematical problems with ease. 4. Spatial visualization. Spatial visualization is the capability to mentally visualize and manipulate objects in space. This ability is crucial for understanding and solving spatial problems, such as puzzles or geometric tasks. 5. Associative memory. Associative memory is the capacity to recall or recognize paired or related information. It involves remembering associations and relationships between items, which can be particularly useful in tasks involving memory or problem solving. 6. Perceptual speed. Perceptual speed relates to how quickly a person can process simple and straightforward visual information. It involves rapid visual scanning and discrimination. 7. Reasoning. Reasoning encompasses deductive and inductive thinking. It refers to the ability to analyze complex problems, draw logical conclusions, and solve abstract puzzles or intellectual challenges. These seven primary mental abilities, according to Thurstone, collectively represented an individual's intelligence. Rather than relying on a single general factor, his theory embraced the idea that intelligence was a diverse and multidimensional construct with each primary mental ability contributing to an individual's overall cognitive functioning. Challenging the dominance of the G-Factor theory, Thurstone's multiple factor theory presented a significant challenge to Charles Spearman's G-Factor theory, which had dominated the field of intelligence research. Spearman's theory suggested that a single overarching factor was responsible for an individual's intelligence, while Thurstone's theory argued for the existence of multiple distinct abilities that collectively constituted intelligence. The debate between these two theories was fierce and captivated the attention of psychologists, and researchers. While Spearman's G-Factor theory continued to hold sway for many years, Thurstone's ideas paved the way for a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of intelligence, contemporary relevance and influence. While Thurstone's theory faced resistance and criticism when first introduced, it remains relevant 
and influential in contemporary discussions of intelligence. Several factors contribute to its enduring impact. 1. Modern Intelligence Tests Thurstone's emphasis on primary mental abilities has influenced the development of modern intelligence tests. Tests such as the Stanford Binet and the Wechsler Adult Intelligence Scale incorporate elements of Thurstone's approach by assessing multiple cognitive domains, providing a more comprehensive profile of an individual's abilities. 2. Multidimensional Perspective Thurstone's theory has contributed to the recognition of the need for a multidimensional perspective on intelligence. Today, research Researchers acknowledge that a person may excel in one area of intelligence while facing challenges in another. This perspective aligns with Thurstone's emphasis on the diversity of cognitive abilities. 3. Educational and Clinical Settings Thurstone's theory has practical applications in educational and clinical settings. It underscores the importance of recognizing and nurturing different cognitive strengths and weaknesses among individuals. Educators can use this knowledge to tailor teaching methods to students' specific abilities, and clinicians can assess and address cognitive deficits more comprehensively. 4. Research on Cognitive Abilities Thurstone's concept of primary mental abilities has inspired ongoing research into the various dimensions of human cognition. Researchers continue to explore the interactions between these abilities, their underlying neural mechanisms, and their implications for everyday functioning. Conclusion, a multidimensional view of intelligence. Thurstone's multiple-factor theory of intelligence challenged the prevailing wisdom of its time, offering a compelling alternative to the unidimensional G-factor theory. By introducing the concept of primary mental abilities, Thurstone enriched the field of psychology and inspired a deeper exploration of cognitive diversity. While the debate between unitary and multiple-factor theories of intelligence continues, Thurstone's contributions have left an indelible mark on the study of human cognition. His theory encourages us to appreciate the richness and complexity of the human mind, which is not solely defined by a single overarching factor, but rather by a combination of distinct and interrelated mental abilities. In embracing this multidimensional view of intelligence, we gain a deeper understanding of what it means to be intelligent, and the diverse ways in which human cognition manifests itself.